The Carrington event was the largest recorded solar storm in human history. Occurring on September 1st to 2nd, 1859, it was caused by an intense coronal mass ejection, CME from the sun, basically a giant burst of solar plasma and magnetic fields that slammed into Earth's magnetosphere. Here's what happened. The event, observed by Richard Carrington. British astronomer Richard Carrington was drawing sunspots when he saw a sudden, bright flash of white light on the sun, the first recorded solar flare. Speed record. The CME reached Earth in only approximately 17.6 hours, much faster than the typical two to four days, indicating an exceptionally powerful ejection. Auroras, brilliant, auroras, northern and southern lights, lit up skies around the world, even seen in the Caribbean, Hawaii, and parts of Central America. In some places, they were bright enough to read a newspaper at night. Telegraph chaos. The geomagnetic disturbance induced electric currents and telegraph wires, shocking operators, sparking equipment, and even allowing some systems to send messages without batteries. Because the Earth's magnetic field itself was inducing the current. Why it was so intense, the CME carried a massive magnetic field that interacted with Earth's magnetic field, causing a geomagnetic storm. Scientists believe the sun might have released multiple CMEs in quick succession, clearing space plasma ahead so the main CME traveled unusually fast. If it happened today in 1859, the damage was limited to telegraph systems. Today, with our dependence on electricity, satellites, GPS, internet cables, and power grids, satellites could be fried, GPS navigation could fail, power grids could collapse for weeks or months. Undersea internet cables could be damaged by geomagnetically induced currents. A modern Carrington-class storm could cause trillions of dollars in damages and take years to recover from.